Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the simulation of half wave control type of rectifier. For that, we will use different component present in the library browser and we will try to understand the concept of firing angle. This is the circuit diagram for half wave control type of rectifier and here we have used thyristor instead of diode. So with the help of this thyristor or SCR, the output voltage can be controlled. So that is why the name of this rectifier is control type of rectifier. Let us start with AC voltage source. Change the peak amplitude to 325 volts and frequency to 50 hertz. Now go inside this library browser, open the Simscape library, electrical, then specialized power system. And here you can find the power electronics section. So drag this thyristor into the workspace. Or you can simply do double click on this workspace and search for the thyristor. Now connect the anode terminal of this thyristor to the supply side. Take current measurement block. Take series RLC branch. Let us consider a resistive type of branch. A resistance of 50 ohms. Rotate this branch and complete the connections. Now take voltage measurement block to measure the voltage across the load side and the supply side. Copy this block to the supply side. Now let us take pulse generator block. So this block is required to give pulses to the gate terminal of this thyristor. So open this pulse generator. And the, as we are using the frequency of 50 Hz, so our period will become 20 millisecond. So we can write it as 1 divided by 50. So let us first of all keep this phase delay or the firing angle at 0. Take the scope block to view the waveforms. Change the number of input ports. So we will connect the four input terminals or four signals to this scope block. You can give the name to each signal. Now take the power guy block. So this block is required for the simulation of the components which are present in the Simscape library. Now save the simulation. I'm taking here the stop time as 0 0.08 seconds. So we will get the waveforms corresponding to four cycles. So save the changes and run the simulation. Open this scope block. So here you can observe different waveforms. So currently we have given the phase delay to be zero. So that is why you can observe here this output voltage waveform is similar to the uncontrolled type of rectifier. So now let us check what happens when we give specific firing angle or phase delay. So this firing angle is nothing but the instant at which we will be applying gate trigger to this thyristor so that it will get forward bias. So one complete cycle of AC supply corresponds to 360 degrees and its period is 20 milliseconds. So if you want to give the 
firing angle is 90 degree then our phase delay will be 5 milliseconds so let us apply this phase delay of 5 milliseconds and check the output voltage waveform save the changes and run the simulation open the scope block so from 0 to 5 milliseconds thyristor is acting as an open circuit switch because we have not applied gate trigger as soon as we apply gate trigger at 5 milliseconds this thyristor becomes short circuit and it starts conducting so output voltage across the load will appear like this in the positive half cycle of the AC supply also this current waveform is in phase with the output voltage waveform because we are using a resistive type of load if you check in the negative half cycle the thyristor will get a reverse bias so it will act as an open circuit switch now let us check this output voltage waveform for another firing angle so let us take the firing angle new firing angle as 120 degree so for this firing angle our phase delay if we calculate it will come out to be 6.67 milliseconds so apply the phase delay here save the changes and run the simulation open this scope block so here you can observe conduction period of the thyristor has got further reduced so we can conclude that with the help of thyristor we can control the output voltage across the load that's all from this video check out the description box for the quiz and do answer them in the comment section Thank you for watching this video, like, share and subscribe to the channel Start Scratch and do check out our other videos to learn similar skills through our bite-sized content.